Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Apple Watch versus iPad, Leo has his. I need some more convincing. <laughs> Plus, ways to turbocharge your Today screen. A time saver for Instagram. And more. It's iPad Today! iPad Today is brought to you by Pro Flowers. Mother's Day is May 10th, and Pro Flowers has got you covered. Get one dozen rainbow roses in a free glass vase for just $19.99, plus shipping. Visit proflowers.com. Click the microphone in the top right corner and enter the code TWIT. And by Braintree. If you're working on a mobile app and searching for the right payments API, check out the Braintree V.0 SDK. With one simple integration, you get every way to pay. To learn more and to try out the sandbox, go to braintreepayments.com slash iPad today. And by Harry's. For guys who want a great shave experience for a fraction of what you're paying now, go to harrys.com. Get $5 off your first purchase by entering the code iPad today when you check out. Ooh, hello, Megan Maroney. Welcome to iPad Today. This Welcome is a show to, where yes. we talk about the iPad. Mm -hmm. Sharknado versus zombies. What? <laughs> are you a Sharknado fan or are uh, you in the zombie crowd? I don't know. I, 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 iPad plus versus the Apple Watch, which is Sharknado, which is zombie. No one know. would know. <laughs> no one would know. Yeah, we're just looking for more ways to, to amortize the cost of this $650 boondoggle on my wrist right well i mean maybe people are still thinking of whether they're going to buy one they want to laugh at you for buying one <laughs> they want to see what's better about their ipad what they could do with their ipad you know instead what of? frosts my brain what frosts your brain uh or flakes i was gonna say flakes but brain came out instead that shows you it's been frosted uh, this doesn't work with the ipad you has to have an iphone and not just any iPhone, an iPhone 5 or later to use the Apple Watch. But it should work with both. I it mean, should I, work with I the get iPad. it that you need, but I, you can't even stream music from your can't watch. do anything. It doesn't know that the iPad exists. Oh, it's snubbing the iPad. It is snubbing the iPad. So I think that now does, did Apple ever get did they may ask them why? No, well, well, I read something that, that they thought it would be too confusing that that to have two different interfaces to work with, but it's probably version two. Will. I, I think probably what it is is they figure anybody who has an iPad also has an iPhone. But I think there are people like me. I use an iPad, but I prefer to carry an Android phone, and I don't think that that's that unusual. Right. And so I would, but for if you, I have to carry my iPhone now, because I I have you know I have to do it for the uh, the uh, mm -hmm. Apple Watch. So I right. feel like I just feel like it could be. I'm, I'm one of the things the Apple Watch does is make phone calls, so you can't really do that on your iPad, I guess, but uh, everything else that I do on this could be done on any iOS device, I think. Yeah. So uh, I thought we could start off with the big thing, those notifications, like how notifications right. work on the watch versus how they work on the iPad, right. and how you can simplify them, uh, make them more useful to you. Now, the first thing, anybody who has an iPhone, this didn't happen on the iPad, notice, though, when you went to uh, iOS 8.2, is all of a sudden... You got a new uh, icon for an Apple Watch, whether uh -huh. you wanted one or not, right. whether you were going to get one or not, and you can't remove it. You can only do what most people do, which is slide it into the extras folder. That's where I put all the Apple stuff that I don't use in the extras folder. But now you slid it out. I slid it out because it also is required if you're going to uh, use an Apple Watch with your phone. So I'm going to actually set up some... This is, by the way, where you would do, do all of the configuration of notifications and so forth. Um, some of it you can do on the phone, but really it's so much easier to do it in the Apple Watch, and uh, rather on the yeah, phone yeah. for the Apple Watch. But uh, yeah, so you can do it on the watch, but it's easier to do it on the phone. Did I say that backwards? I think yeah. I did. I'm so, going to send myself some notifications. So uh, just to be clear, everything yeah. that all the notifications you get on your phone are not automatically synced to your watch. No. In fact, the way... Apple does it as I remember when you first install the watch is it does not turn on notifications and glances for every app you have or does it maybe it does and then you have to go back and turn them on when you 
I, th I can't remember. Well, I am still waiting for my watch, but I did do some research because I'm so well, I am excited you. about it. And I'm going to talk about it on i5 for the iPhone. Yeah. So what in my research, what I found is that it doesn't mirror the two, don't mirror each other. But if you go through your iPhone and you turn off notifications for everything that you've turned on, which you should do anyway, because you really don't need to be notified about that much stuff. You can really overdo it on the watch, I'll so, tell you that. So what appears in your settings in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone is everything that you already have turned on in your iPhone. So if you've already turned off, you don't want set, you know, if you don't want, if they know you don't want Facebook notifications, you don't want Instagram notifications. If they, if you already don't want those, then they will not even show up in your settings screen. So maybe you've already turned them off. Maybe that's why you don't have that many. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, I think what happens is something different happens when you first turn on the watch. All of the apps that are watch capable copy over to your uh, watch, and I'll show you. The interface is crazy because it's a lot of apps. They all copy over, and they're all little dots on your watch. And okay? you get rid of them the same way you get rid of them on your iPhone. You can. You can hold them, and they'll jiggle, 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 jiggle. The jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Uh, maybe they, they should. They're supposed to. That's what they're supposed to. And then, to. but then they change the behavior, and when you install new apps, it doesn't automatically put it on the phone. So you have to then go into the new app uh -huh. and say. Uh, uh, turn on the notifications on the phone. That is weird because it's it something seems... a little odd. I have to say. Because if you're there, that's yeah. usable, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, I know exactly what I'm looking at. So let me just explain what's going on here. There, I'll go back to the watch face. There are, if you swipe the face down, notifications. I don't have any there, so I'm gonna have to set up some. And then if you swipe up, there's glances. So understand, there's a difference between the two. Notifications are push notifications from things like email and messaging that, you know, your calendar that get pushed out to the watch. Just as it's kind of like today, the, and you, you described this on the I, on, at the beginning, it's kind of like the difference between today and notifications. Mm -hmm. So on the iPad, today is Which? basically equivalent of glances on the watch and notifications are the same as notification on the watch, okay? Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. So you swipe up for today style stuff and you can, get, you can turn that on uh, in the uh, application. So there's my calendar, there's my to-do list, my wonder list. You have wonder list. Do I you? do, I yeah. Yep. I uh, one of the things I talk about today. I can control music. Now, you get to choose, but you have to choose this on the phone whether you want music to play back to come out of the watch or out of the phone. Right now I have it set that it comes out of, this is controlling audio from my phone. That, by the way, works for everything, including, I'm happy to say, because I'm a big audio book listener, mm -hmm. Audible. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my book, Becoming Steve Jobs. That'll turn off the classical music. And then on here, this says Becoming Steve Jobs. This now controls my audio book. So that controls whatever audio. That's really great for if you're driving, because I found myself I when I'm, that. you know, driving, yeah. adjusting your phone right. Audible app. Similar thing. A similar thing will happen uh, if you have Audible on your uh, iPad. Mm -hmm. um, now and now you'll get a little player. I think you get a little player, don't you, in the notifications uh, of your see. thing? Do you have uh, Audible? I don't know. I have it on my iPhone. Yeah, I think um, I don't yet have it installed over here. Um. I don't. I had a question. So you can stream to uh, your iPhone. You cannot stream to your iPad. Can you stream it to a, like a speaker, a Bluetooth yes. speaker? Yes. So if you so you will actually have a choice as you're streaming. You can choose where you want to stream. You can stream from the phone, from the watch, and if you've paired Bluetooth audio devices, that will appear as well. Okay. Oh, and you can then say what this controls. So that's kind of nice. Yes. You also you can get things that are watch specific. For instance, you on the iPad, you can't take your heart rate. No. I but can't. I can on this watch. And what this watch does is kind of interesting. It takes your heart rate automatically every 10, 10 minutes or so. And uh, so it keeps track of your heart rate all day long. That's good. And uh, that's, that's kind of nice. You want to know if your heart is beating or not. Right. That's something you want to know. And then it shows, this is one of the popular glances that shows your, they've, they've showed this a lot, uh, shows your activity level. So the red is how much heavy activity, like actual exercise I have. I'm sorry, the red is just moving around. The green is how many, how much exercise I've actually had. And the blue is standing. It's another thing your iPad doesn't do. And it shouldn't because it's not on your wrist or on your body. Right. So it doesn't know if you're moving around or standing or exercising. Every 50, every, every hour, if I haven't moved in 50 minutes, like I'm watching a movie. 
Or doing a show about or doing iPads. Doing a show. Apple or watches. last, during triangulation, it says, stand up. And did you? Yeah. Because hmm? I do whatever my watch tells me to do. <laughs> uh, so Wonderlist was an app that I was going to talk about. Let's How look at the difference between okay. Wonderlist on the iPad. You're going to get to see all of my Your to-do my, lists. My to -do lists. Um, so yeah, Wonderlist is just a, it's an app that lets you keep track of all the things that you need to do, organize your life, organize your to-do list apps. Um, I really like it. It's much simpler than a lot of the other ones that I've tried. I like Evernote, So that's too. the, that's in the app, right? Yeah, so, it, yes, here's my grocery list. I can move things around. I can add what kind of salsa I want. Spicy! Or, um, you know, I could do all that stuff. I think I've shown this on here before. Uh, I just really like the way that it works. I have several lists. I have my daily to-do list, all the things, and I can move them up and I can uh, clean up my iPad. Yes, I did that. Get rid of them. That was it's your excellent. actual on your to-do list? Yes, I got wow, that is on my to-do list. aren't you disciplined? I have everything on my to-do list. I've been doing, yes, I'm a little You know, it's crazy. smart if you put really easy things to do on your to-do list. Yes, and then while. you can get rid of them. And then, yeah. then you have a mm -hmm. chance to. iPad today. Uh, check. Check. Done. Done. See? Don't you feel good about yourself now? So I like the big screen. I like how much real estate I have on it. I like how it works with my, since we were talking about notifications, mm -hmm. I have a, uh, a Wonderlist widget. So widgets are the things that you can add to your today screen as opposed to your right. notification screen today. And then you add those by clicking down and edit. And you can choose which ones that you, I like all these widgets. All these widgets I do not like. Um, so show me how it works. So here's the widget. The, I so the widget, yeah, this. that's what I want to see. When you pull down, not the widget, but when you pull down notifications, do you see um, on mine? your to-do list? That's that's the ana analog there, right? There it is, Wonderlist. Yes, list. on today, yes. And so I, it shows, and can you check things? If, let's see. Well, um, no, it doesn't look like you can. I thought you could. Maybe it was because I didn't have my today list. Um, Evernote, I think, was another similar one. That, that will let you check things. From your notification screen... That's different. Than Functionality that. on the notification screen varies a lot, doesn't it? It, it does. You like, can't I need really to get rid know what these. you're going to get. No, you don't. So that's why we said before, turn off all your notifications. Uh, so so if me... I had today dues, I think they would show up there. I think they did. Like finish is another similar one. That, that actually has my uh, list, and I can check them off and go to them. So show me what it looks like. Yes, yeah, so let me show you uh, my wonder, wonder list here on my, uh, on my Apple watch um that i can do it as a glance or as a notification so i'm going to give you the glance which would be like having wonder list in your today mm -hmm. thing let me see where my wonder list is that's one problem you put too many glances in here how many glances can you, you get can, it seems like an unlimited number you know what it's not turned on in here so now if you want to do that you have to go to your phone and you have to say turn on my wonder list i i thought i'd already done that so i apologize so we're scroll down. These are all the apps. You have ha on how long here. have you had this? You've had it since it Friday, say, Leo. You don't it says show and glances. So Ooh. show app on Apple Watch, show and glances. Maybe I don't have anything to do. Could that be? Let's let's enter something to do in Wonderlist. Maybe I just didn't put any. Uh, Give Megan a raise. I did all the check boxes. Maybe I maybe I finished all my to dos. I thought I had more to do. Let's do you another do one. You do have more to do. No one. I do. I have one thing it. in my inbox. Cancel New York Times. Oh. Lisa was just telling me she wants you to do that. You know why? It's, uh, who knew? It's really fine print. On the iPad, it's nice and big. I can make it big and read it. When you get the printed New York Times, you can't read it. That is a good advertisement for the iPad right there. Cancel New York <laughs> no Times. No kidding. That's why she said she wants to cancel it, because you read it on the iPad. Yeah. So I don't know why it's not showing, uh, showing up here. Let me, um, let me launch the app. That, that maybe I just have to launch the app, and then it will show up from then on. So go ahead, try to find the Wonderlist app <laughs> on these little dots. Can you, do, can you ask Siri, open Wonderlist on there? I don't know. Try it. All right, let's try it. Open Wonderlist. Here's some traffic. It did, it worked. <laughs> yeah, here's some traffic for you. You'll never get home today. All right, there's my Wonderlist. Okay, good tip. Yeah, Siri. thank you, you figured it out. And here's my to-do list. Cancel New York Times. So let's go back to the watch. Let's see if, when I go down to glances, I can see it now. Should be in here somewhere. Wonder, oh, is that it? Yep, cancel New York Times. So that's what it looks like here. Can I do it? Can I cancel the New York Times? 
I can because it, when I tapped it, it launched the Wonderlist app. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's kind of an in there. I can I can cancel that. So there, that's kind of analogous. Right. Um, but it has to launch the app to be able to do the functionality. Right, and then I can see everything that I need to do. So it's like a bigger screen. And of course, Wonderlist does sync. So uh, just I'll show you my Wonderlist. Um, I does. love. I. It's so funny that you're using that because I have tried them all, including any do and things. And I finally came around to Wonderlist. Yeah, I. Uh, so it's important, even though your your Apple Watch doesn't work with your iPad, Wonderlist is syncing. So if you have Wonderlist you on go. the iPad, it will. That's nice. You can, yeah, right. it'll work. I assume. Yeah. I mean, it works that way with the iPhone and the iPad. That that makes sense. That's good. So. All right, so uh, how about video calling? Can you make video calls on your Apple Watch? No video calling. I can make phone calls. Hey, Siri, call Megan Maroney. My phone's over there. <laughs> well, it's thinking. It did work the other day when we tried it's, it. It's thinking. It's one thing I've, I've noticed about the Apple Watch. It spends a lot of time thinking. Does Siri not talk back to you? Now it says, what can I help you with? Call Megan Maroney. No, Siri doesn't talk on the watch. NASA's What Can I Help You With Call, Megan Maroney. <laughs> oh, Siri. Siri doesn't talk in the watch. Oh, I... Oh, sorry, this, I'm... This is... <laughs> I can help you with your call history when you hand off to your iPhone. Oh, that's something I can do that's kind of cool. Uh, hand it off to my iPhone, and then on the iPhone, the lock screen will show the handoff here in the lower left, and I swipe it up, and this will actually continue my conversation. You don't have any calls to make in moral day for today. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can correct her pronunci pronunci can pronunciation I? of Moroni. Yes, we'll, we'll work on that later. I would like to, because it calls you a moron. I think that's not nice. <laughs> it's moron-y. moron <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, that, the handoff is really good with the Apple Watch. I think I've I've read that it's good. Yeah. I don't have mine yet? But so if you have, if you're looking at something on your iPhone um, with Siri, you can hand off and then back and forth. Right. That's good. Right. So video calling, of course, you have Skype for video calling. No, of course, we don't you have, have FaceTime. Yeah. yeah. You have. Face There's no camera on this, but there is a microphone. Right. So but Skype on the iPad. Right. Right. So are you gonna call me? Uh, sure, yeah, I'm yeah, Actually, they you. just added Facebook. Yes, Facebook, this is brand new. Facebook has video calling in Facebook Messenger. They really okay. want you to use Facebook Messenger. Okay. Um, so you can make video calls. You can, I mean, we could do this with FaceTime, obviously, but uh, if you had an Android device, we could also it's do not, it. It's not doing anything. Do I have to have messages open? Messenger. Messenger open? Yeah, probably. Wait a minute, what are you, are you calling with from Facebook? Yes. That's so strange. That's your Facebook profile picture, isn't it? Yeah. It worked before. Huh. Oh, there it is. You know what? You have to have it open. Ah. Uh. Okay. I kind of, that ring is interesting. Yeah. All right, let me accept it. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Hi, Megan. Hi. This looks just like FaceTime. It does. But yeah. uh, now, it, this is brand new today. Announced through okay. Facebook Messenger, which is cool if you don't, if you want to talk to someone who doesn't have... Video uh, chat. Or someone who doesn't have FaceTime too. You know, you can well, call. Well, everybody like, has. Oh, but, if, but right, you don't. Everybody. You can call an Android device. Right, like we called right. Jason Howell before. Right. Um, uh, you guys get the idea. We don't need to call Jason, do we? No, we get the okay. idea. How do I hang up? <laughs> the big red button. I, okay. Well, fortunately, you had a big red button, so you hung up on me. Um, I did hang up on you. Um, let's do one more. Okay, so fitness is great. There's not yeah. much. There's, I mean, you can organize your fitness on the iPad, but there's not a whole lot of, I mean. Fitness can, is much better on the watch because you take it with you as you're running. You're not going to run with an iPad. Right, unless you're doing like my Fit Star, you know, oh. and you have the. Well, I do that, yeah. yeah so you have like the yoga classes. Fit Star is great. Right, on the iPad. Yeah. Because they can, it, 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 Tony Gonzalez will talk you through it. Right, you can watch it, the video. You videos. can watch the video. Kettlebells. It'll ask you how hard it was, and it'll tell you. We've talked about that before. So that's better on the iPad, right. but it's this, not going to track what, you know. This is a little bit of a coach, but not a lot. For instance, as you're, as you're running every mile, it'll go bzz, So you know you completed a mile. It'll, it does, in fact, very accurately. Uh, by the way, that's the good news. It's very accurate. Measure your steps. Uh, if you have the phone in your pocket, this, the watch doesn't have GPS, but the phone has. So if you have the phone in the pocket, it will tell you how far you've gone. Uh, you know, so I bicycled in the other day, 2.2 miles, 13 minutes. Told me how many calories I used. Told me my heart rate went to 342. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, no, it didn't. 
That's great because I don't know if you've really ever exercised with a heart rate monitor that you have to like wear and strap to you. It yeah, just this is feels nice. Like it does a good so job. Good. Yeah. So uh, I got a phone. Now this does have messaging, messages. Now does messages sh show up in the iPad in the notifications? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So similarly here, it shows up on the watch. Henry just sent me oh. uh, a text. Send so, money, Dad. Now. Send please. money. He says, "Let me know if the dude replies today." <laughs> what? And let me let me reply to him. Uh, so I'm gonna tap. Thankfully, so now it, been you have some life. sample uh, oh. message because and you can put some of these in. Okay. Uh, yes. So I've added a few like, you know, uh, talk to you in a bit. Be right back. I love you. I'm on my way. Sorry, I can't talk right now. So you could pick one of those or you can do this. The dude abides. <laughs> Done. And that was a dictation. Now it says and you can change the setting, but you could send it as audio. You know, messages supports audio or you could send the dictation if the dictation is accurate. You can send that. You can also tell it on your phone to always send audio or always send text. But I'll just send Henry. The dude abides. I don't know if he's gonna what he's gonna if he's gonna make head or tails of the, out of that. <laughs> By the way, this is another notification that came in. We were talking about uh, uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. It does because it's always watching your activity. It's giving me my afternoon movement activity log. Ooh. My afternoon move goal progress: 134 calories of 400. It says, "Keep on moving, Leo." Every step brings you closer to your goal. That's nice. And I can then dismiss that. So that's the kind of notifications uh, you get. Messages, incoming calls will show up as an incoming call, which you can answer on the phone. No video, but you can answer on the watch, rather. Um, are you and Henry having like a big Lebowski moment or something? We are now. Okay. He's going to be very puzzled by that. <laughs> so I don't think he knows about the big Lebowski. Really? I yeah. bet he does. <laughs> now, you don't use Evernote. I think, feel like I keep asking I you. I do. I love okay. Evernote. And do you have Evernote on that? You bet I have Evernote on this. Okay. Because I, let's Hey, Siri, show. open Evernote. Now that I know I can do that. That's yeah, cool. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. You and, forget uh, things sometimes. You Well, I just didn't know you could open apps. I think I guess I read that. This is one of the things somebody pe said about the Apple Watch. It's not a learning curve. It is a um, learning, a discovery curve, right? So um, you saw it did pull up Evernote, and I can add a new note. It can show me recently viewed notes as well. So you can see Ryan Cruz, passports, they kind of go together. Uh, there's some serial numbers and things like that. The best brand muffins. Let's see that recipe for best brand muffins. Ooh, where'd you get that? Uh, there it is. It's loading up. The watch is not super fast, by the way. Uh, we've showed this before. Preheat oven to 400 degrees, spray muffin tins with Pam, combine a whole wheat flour, bran, light brown sugar, salt, baking soda, baking powder, mixing bowl, a little buttermilk, a little egg, canola oil, molasses, and then the, the raisin. That's the whole recipe That's right there. That's a use case that I feel good about because yeah. um, if you have your iPad out where you're cooking, it's on the, you, you know, you get at, food all over it, yeah. your iPhone, you don't want that. You would just check your wrist. Yesterday I was making uh, rice. I said, hey Siri, uh, uh, time set a timer for 30 minutes or whatever, and it did it. Uh, beeps you and buzzes you. So we, we also can add an Evernote. So I can search. You can see the magnifying glass, but I can also add. And I wonder what that's going to be like, not having done it. Mm. Let's remember that there's always tomorrow another day, and that tomorrow will be that day. Signed. Your future self. Oh. And, then, and then it got it all and then went to sleep because it was exhausted <laughs> after that long dictation. I wish that it would respond tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps by. It's petty, petty pace, pace from day, day to day. day. Life's all our but a yesterdays. Walk, walking shadow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A poor player. Oh, is it no more Shakespeare. Struts okay. its stuff upon the stage. It's our upon it's the our, stage. You know it better than I Shakespeare do. Shakespeare today. You know, you memorize something that gets stuck in there. Yeah, it does. Here's what Evernote looks like on the iPad. There's more um, that you can see at one time. Um, oh, yeah, it's much better. There's Yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's I wouldn't say better. It's different. It's nice to have the kind of the instant thing that you can do. Right. And uh, now that I know, I could just say, hey, Siri, launch Evernote. Uh, that's pretty right. good. Right, and I could I could leave it out ver verbally, too. Tomorrow, yeah. and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow is tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, the, I also, the thing I like about Evernote that you can't do in the iPad is um, the scanner. Do you use the scanner in Evernote, the photos? Yeah, I can't um, do that in the, in the watch either. Yeah. I mean that, what did I say, iPhone? I meant you can't do it in the watch. Yeah. You can do it in the phone. You can't do it in the iPad? You can, you can do it in the iPad oh, and you can nice. do it in the phone. I do you like that. You can't do it in the watch. And it automatically sees the corners of things. Um, 
it's it's pretty great. So if you have just like a bunch of paper and you want to um, save it all, and it, it right. has optical scanning too, right? You can search. It's searchable. That's what Jill Duffy told me of PC Mag that you can search. Yeah, because um, it, it doesn't. It's not perfect, but it does enough of it mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, you get a few of the keywords. So it's it's great in that sense. You can search it, and you'll see the image. You won't probably the scanning is not perfect, so you won't want to read what it's scanned, but it will give you enough so that you can do some searching, which right. is great. And also, the Evernote has a great widget that I like for the Today screen, which is here. We can see everything. Um, right here, this is my today screen, and I can get my reminders and lists. And that's what you were talking about. Like I can see Absolutely. my daily to-do, laundry, TN2. Speaking of, we should move on. If I'm going to do another show, uh, <laughs> <laughs> time is up. Well, for all the links and the names, I just got a notification, but we'll talk about it after the break. You can go to twit.tv/ipad. You can watch our past episodes. You can fall in love. You can subscribe to the show. Oh, fall in love uh, all over again. Subscribe anywhere. Your favorite podcasts are sold for nothing. They're free, except we like it when you support our sponsors. If you are in love. Or a Mother's Day. Or you have a mother. <laughs> mother. You might want to know about Pro Flowers. Look at that. That's my, uh, my love sent me this bouquet. Aww. Isn't that pretty? It There's is nothing beautiful. like even, and you know what? It's absolutely, Mother's Day is May 10th, so you really want to not forget Mother's Day. Uh, but I have to say there's also something to be said for just sending flowers for no reason. Hmm. Maybe send flowers to mom today. What I did last year with Pro Flowers, and I do use Pro Flowers, they have a really fun one for Mother's Day you can do where you send a bouquet the first day and the second day she got chocolates covered strawberries. So it was like two Mother's Days in one. Now it's not too late. Mother's Day, you have all the way up to May 8th. Mother's Day is May 10th. Friday, May 8th, if you get to proflowers.com and use the offer code TWIT, you can send mom a beautiful bouquet of rainbow roses in a free glass vase, just $19.99 plus shipping. And if you really, if mom did a, if mom is your, your mother, <laughs> your sweetheart, if you, if you really want to show mom you care, for an extra $9.99, you can add another dozen roses. Like on two nice. different days. No, one giant vase of 24 roses, like that red one right there. Look at that. That's awesome. I love the rainbow colored roses though. That's kind of more springy. Yeah. They do have, you can send two flowers on two days too. That, yeah, of course. My mom watches this show, so I'm not going to say any more. No about more, what, say not, no more, say no more. Ordered. Appreciating mom this Mother's Day does not have to be stressful. And if you forget, as I always do, Pro Flowers saved my life last year. I'm going to try to do it ahead of time this year. But they've got everything you need for Mother's Day for all the moms in your life, not just your mother. Your, your husband's mother, uh, the awesome. mother of your, your children, mother whoever, whoever mothers you have. I am a mother. I, have I like flowers. Many mothers in my life. You choose the delivery date you want, they guarantee it. And best of all, the flowers are guaranteed to be fresh and last at least seven days after you receive them. And I love that too. Easy website to use. You look at it, you pick, ex you're going to see exactly what it's going to look like. And I have to say, I really love that, sending her the roses. And then the chocolates. I, she just that she she called me and she like was blown away. That's ex I think that's the one I got. The fancy strawberries and the rose. Every order comes with the Pro Flowers guarantee too. So, if you're a fan of Twit, use the offer code Twit, and they've got that special deal on a dozen rainbow roses in a free glass vase for just nineteen ninety nine. Go to Pro Flowers. You see where it says blue uh, and the uh, it actually is there a blue microphone on the page? Oh, there it is over in the upper top right. Go find that one. And uh, use the offer code TWIT. That's how they know you heard it on iPad today. Mm -hmm. So please do that for us. Proflowers.com. Use TWIT as the offer code. And by the way, you don't just have to get the roses. You can do other things, too. They sell other things besides flowers, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I mean, I said, and candy. The, but they sell The chocolate-covered strawberries were unbelievable. And plants, too. Plants. Uh, yeah. Did you see the plants? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Proflowers.com. Uh, so the news. Let's do some news. Uh, the Apple Watch, I think we've done that. I just know, got a notification here. on my Apple Watch that Apple has announced... <gasps> the earnings? The yeah. earnings are coming out. 33% increase in sales, mostly due to China, I think. Is that predicted or is that I out? I don't know. You know, it's so... It's a sentence. <laughs> 4.30 Eastern. Is it 4.30 Eastern yet? Uh, yes. That's when they're supposed to come out. They just came out. out. They just... So the... So we, our analysts will start to pour through that 
And by the time you do Tech News Tonight in an hour, right. you will, I will know have everything. synthesized all the information. Yeah, this is the, so I got the notification from the Wall Street Journal uh, on the watch, which is kind of cool. And you know what's interesting? The Journal and others, some news, other newspapers do this too. They actually put little teeny weeny pictures. See a little teeny weeny picture? You can barely figure it out. Do you have the New York Times app on there? I do. Cause that, do you like that? It's just like one sentence story. Yeah, that's a little better because you, it's just they don't bother with the pictures. But uh, I don't know, maybe you like the pictures. Um, Hindus bear loved ones. I can't, ESPN sues Verizon, Buffett's ringmaster. It's pictures of tiny, what is that? I can't even, it's a thing. And then there's a thing with a thing. I guess so you probably can get Twitter on there too. On my Twitter. I can. You can. Uh, Renee Ritchie just tweeted that there were 12.6 million iPads sold. Yeah, it's down. Yeah. It's down again. <laughs> Another down. Is a lot. But it's still a lot. 61.1 million iPhones, 4.5 million Macs, 13.6 billion dollars in revenue. That's pretty close to uh, what uh, the analysts were expecting. I think. Yeah. Yes, iPad figures do continue to fall, but we're still here. For you. Hey, if you sell 12 million of anything in three months, I think you should be happy. That's a million so a week. Yes. Enough said. Right. Uh, so some other news. Do you want to talk about earnings anymore? China. China's important. We'll have more well, details yes, I'll talk uh, more later about tonight it. on yes. Tech News Tonight. Uh, rather than just reading someone else's Twitter, because you can yeah. do that yourself. Well, you know what you Re Renee iPhone. told me is to put Twitterific on my iPhone, because it has a very nice interface to the Apple Watch, and so I can Maybe too good an interface. I can read all the tweets and all that stuff. Jason Snell is a big Twitterific fan yes. as well. Yes, yes, he um, is. You always know those are the people that have been on Twitter for a long time. Yeah. Twitterific fans. Okay, so uh, have you heard about the no iOS zone? That bug that came out this week? Yeah. Or that was, was reminded, we were reminded of? Has that, have you encountered it? No. So the idea is you could actually set up your Wi-Fi so that anybody with an iPhone or an iPad who went within your Wi-Fi area Boom! Off the uh, off the air. It's it stops and then it restarts and then it's like an endless loop. Yeah, and it you basically have to run away it. from it. Yeah, you run away. Yeah. So has anybody no done that? Because that would be mean. No, I'm sure don't Apple do will it. Patch this well, quickly. yeah, they also didn't give too many details about it, so people didn't do right. it unless you already knew. Right. Um, and yeah, it's Wi-Fi gate. That's what I always like anything that has a gate. gate in it. It's got a gate. That means it's serious. Yes. And uh, so there will be a fix, but for now, just don't use any Wi-Fi networks you don't trust. And if you do find yourself in this kind of endless loop, then run away from it. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not like it's something that will stick with your device, right? It doesn't crash it permanently once you're out of the. God, I hope not. But it is. It does have to do with the fact that iOS does want to keep reconnecting to a network. It's trying really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's doing its best. Mm -hmm. The best this little iOS heart can do. So uh, YouTube's. YouTube will stop stop working on old iPads. Did you hear that? Yeah, and not just old iPads, I, Apple TVs as well. The problem is that YouTube is changing what they call its API, how it interf interfaces with other software. And unfortunately, it's incompatible with older versions of iOS, including iPads and Apple TVs. So that's going to happen uh, like in a day or two, isn't it? Yes. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, and yeah, but yeah, so you have to have iOS 7 or later, um, yep, oh, that's just the, the app. You, I mean, you can use it online, right? You can go online? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the deal, Is that's the fix. Unfortunately, Apple TV doesn't have a browser, but your iOS device does, so right. if you that's don't wanna, the fix. Yeah, if, yep. you, if you can't, because some devices can't get iOS 7, correct? Uh, terrible, terrible thing. Um, we have some emails, we have some voicemails. I happen to know the voicemail number this week, and <laughs> I will you've, give it to you. You've memorized it? Uh, I think we have another sponsor. Um, we do. Also, so we take do. it away. Other sponsor, aka Braintree. Mm -hmm. This is uh, actually, if you watch the show because you're a developer of a mobile app and you want to know what's the hot thing in the iPad world, I'll tell you the hot thing in the in the mobile payments world. It's BraintreePayments.com. Braintree is a very simple with their dot zero SDK, a very simple way to integrate everything into your app. Uh, if you're building a mobile app and looking for a simple payment solution, you've got to try Braintree. The dot zero VDK, V dot zero SDK rather, makes it easy to offer mobile payments types including PayPal, Apple Pay, yes, it works with Apple Pay, Bitcoin, Venmo, 
credit cards and more. Look who uses Braintree. The biggest, the best. GitHub's been using it since day one. StubHub, Uber, and Lyft. You know, if Uber and Lyft both use it, there's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Airbnb uses it. The SDK comes in seven languages, .NET, Node.js, Java, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby. It supports Android, it supports iOS, it supports JavaScript. Ele elegant code, really just about 10 lines of in-app code, and you've got all of those solutions. Secure, simple, your customers will love it, you will love it, and get this. For your first $50,000 in transactions, no charge. Fee-free when you go to BraintreePayments.com slash iPad today. I love that. BraintreePayments.com slash iPad today. So if you're a mobile developer, you've been looking for a payment solution, go sign up, get try out the sandbox, see if it works for you, play with it all you want, and then make sure you uh, use the uh, website BraintreePayments.com slash iPad today so you get your first $50,000 in payments fee free. How's that for a deal? BraintreePayments.com slash iPad today. Have you used Apple Pay with your watch yet? I have not. You can use it next door at Petaluma Market. You they can? Now take Apple Pay. They I take just Apple Pay bought now? my lunch over there. They don't, there's no logo and they didn't know it. But they said try it, and I held up my phone, and I mean, some I, I, I paid someone something for something. I was in the uh, CVS a couple of nights ago, and I said I'd like to pay with this uh, with my uh, Apple Pay, and they said because they have the thing. Yeah. I said no, it doesn't do anything. I said, well, what happens if I touch? it? said, well, you can touch it all you want, but it's not going to do anything. And didn't it? <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm going to go across the street because you know all you do on this. Now this I have to say, this is something you can't do Apple Pay on an iPad, and it drives me crazy. They don't have NFC chips in there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised now that they've added Touch ID, the fingerprint reader, that maybe the next generation this fall will have NFC. Although I guess the thinking is, what are you going to do, tap that big old iPad? So it does work on the iPhone. If you have it set up on the iPhone, you will have to set it up separately for your Apple Watch. But watch how easy this is. I just double tap the Friends button, and it shows me the card. It says, ready, hold your watch up to the reader to pay. You can even choose, I have several cards entered in, you can choose the card you want to use. That's great. And and all you have to do is just hold it up to the reader. You don't even have to like contort your wrist. And well, you have to go like. You do, you can't just hold it like that. Did you just buy something? Oh my God, what did I buy? <laughs> I just bought a couple more iPads. There's another awesome. one. Awesome. Look at that. So that is pretty cool. That I'm gonna go cool. across the street. They must have just turned that on. Yeah, I know. I uh, I, I, so I bought my lunch today. It I have used delicious. Apple Pay a total of one time. I went to Whole Food and I said, well, let me try it. And I still, because my credit card company requires a pin, I still had to enter in a oh. pin, which is kind of But a you pain. still have to sign, too. It's like, you have my fingerprint. Like, you, you really you need me to scribble on the... I think that's a requirement of different car yeah. different I didn't do it credit at, at card Petaluma companies Market. don't do and don't. Yeah. I don't... It's, I did it at... Uh, I, you still have to do it at Whole Foods. Okay, let's get to some email. All um, right. What I love about doing this show is like, do you want me to ask you the question I'm going to ask you, Leo? No, he doesn't, I, he doesn't have someone in his ear I have been in this. a soundproof room for the last hour. Okay, Wanda says, hi, Leo and Megan. I purchased the Cloud Baby Monitor app to watch my dogs while Cloud I was at baby. work. Uh, to watch her dogs while yep. she's at work, which is a great idea. I have an old AT&T Unlimited plan. I got an email threatening to change my plan because I was tethering my iPhone. Uh, the app was the only thing different. I was using my I iPhone uh, to stream my iPad feed. Is that tethering? Ah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> the answer would be, from the point of view of your uh, ISP, uh, in this case your mobile ISP, yes, because what you do, in effect, is you're giving the, I, the iPhone access to the Internet through your iPad, right? Because the phone is the camera on the baby, mm -hmm. or is it the, the other dogs. way around, on the dogs. dog? Dogs. Dog, baby, whatever. <laughs> right, well, you that probably wouldn't want to leave your babies home alone being streamed. Just, just, just saying. <laughs> this is not unusual. And so you see other apps will do this as well, where instead of uh, using your, uh, your normal internet, like, for instance, there's no, I don't know why they just, just, just have the iPhone call home. But for some, for some reason, they have the iPhone call the iPad. Well, she says she home. has an unlimited plan. Oh, on her iPad, an old that's why. She, so she doesn't have to do that. Yes. She, yeah. Well, that's tethering. <laughs> your your iPhone is using your unlimited plan, and AT and T says, "Wait a minute, that's not allowed. You have to pay for that." This usually is twenty bucks more a month. Well, it seems like it should work, but I get why it doesn't. It does work, but AT and T still wants the money. Right. It seems. Yeah. It's not that it doesn't right. work. 
but because you're using your eight, the it's it's un it's tethered because some other device is using your right. internet access. It's shocking though. AT and T is usually just like, sure, do whatever you want. If you want to do that, yeah, sure, we won't charge you extra. They're so nice. Right. They never so, ask for all more of money. the cable companies. They, are. they like to give us them and Comcast stuff for free. Besties. Uh, I'm sorry, Wanda. I wanted that to work. And yeah, no, I understand um, what's going on. So she has unlimited on her iPad. She wants to use that connectivity yes. instead of her iPhone connectivity. But they do. I want to start testing some pet technology like that because I want to see what my dog is doing when he's home alone. So maybe there is a device that is. It's three ninety nine that... Cloud Baby Monitor. It's an interesting okay. idea. Um, it's, so it's not a it's not a device Cloud Baby Monitor. It's just. It uh, in fact it looks like uh, you could do it with an iPhone or an iPad. You can even talk to your baby or, 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 or play lullabies or white noise. And uh, it has a little night light that shines. So you're probably going to want to plug whatever device you're using to monitor the baby in. Uh, plug it in because otherwise it's going to use a lot of uh, juice. Right. Good positive reviews. Look at that. A must-have app for parents. Was better before update. How many times do you see that in yeah. reviews? <laughs> Best baby monitor, happy and secure, great app update. So, uh, yeah, $3.99. Cloud Baby Monitor. It's yeah. Look, they have a, a watch app. That now I'm interested. Ooh, a watch. I could app. I look at my baby or my dog through my watch? That is awesome. Wow, that'd I be very try interesting. That. All right. Um, I'll just download it right now. Okay. Let's Great. try it. What do you say? Why not? Right. Um, shall we go to Tony's uh, question? Tony Bates in Cardiff, Please. UK. He asks, actually, this isn't a question, this is a tip from Tony. Yeah. Uh, with reference to your last iPad today on an interesting website run by the UK government, he came upon an interesting, it's getsafeonline.org. Hope mm. this helps. This is for kids. We were talking about uh, what, you're, what you should know as a parent mm -hmm. for teenagers that are using the iPad. Getsafeonline.org. Yeah. Getsafeonline with tips. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Uh, I have another email. Um, this comes from Joel from Covington, Louisiana. Hurricane capital of the world. Really? He says, oh, this is another tip. If someone doesn't have Skyforce 2014 as their app cap soon, you and Leo <laughs> both fail at life. I love Skyforce. You do? Yeah, I bet, I bet Milo and Huck love Skyforce. I, I, they, I do love it, too. It's like a retro arcade game, um, sort of like Asteroids. Would you compare it to Asteroids? I would. Yeah. Um, I, I have we on I here. think we had uh, it as an app cap once. Well, it was a little bit. I mean, app caps are supposed to be relatively new, so that was why I didn't choose chose it. But I did download it and I did play it. But I did decide that it was going to um, be just part of this segment instead of the um, app cap because. Now, let me ask a question: Is there a Skyforce 2013 or 2012? I think it was 10 years old in 2014, so oh. that was why it was a decade. So I'm playing it now. Um, and I can shoot things and move around very easy. Uh, I wasted a lot of time. You collect I, the stars. I wasted collect, a lot of oh, quarters, I think. But really, collect this. the stars, collect to build up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this looks great. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good, uh, nice. if I might say so. It is great. It is free. Uh, it, it's a little bit like Zaxxon. Zaxxon. That Remember might have that? been. No, I don't. Sorry. Oh, that was a good game. Um, you don't, th it's a, I guess it's not really like asteroids because you're not shooting asteroids, you're shooting no, planes. No, it's a side. It's a shoot em up. It's shoot em up, but it's like, it's a, like oh. a scroller, infinite I do, scroller. I do highly recommend it. Thank you, Joel. I'm glad we're not failing at life. I mean, does wow. it have to be an app cap for us to, he really liked it. You know what? He's right. Look, there's Mario. Just fl flew over Mario. <laughs> I don't know why Mario's in this. Uh, I think we also have a voicemail from... Sean from Memphis. Do we, Zach? Yeah. Let's awesome. hear it. This is Sean from Memphis, and I just have a quick question for Leo. I was curious <laughs> what type and model of iPad do you currently use, and why do you like that model? Oh, that's a good question. You just let us know. Thank you. So I uh, was using the iPad Air, which I think is a great model. That was last year's model. Mm -hmm. And Apple announced, actually it was two years ago model, last year, in the fall of last year, Apple announced the iPad Air 2. And the biggest change in the Air 2 was it has a faster processor, much faster, uh, faster graphics chip. But, in, but from the point of view of the user, the biggest change you'll notice is it has Touch ID. And, uh, but I decided uh, I'm not going to buy that. We bought one for Sarah. But I decided not to buy that. So when Sarah went to TechCrunch, I inherited her mm -hmm. iPad Air 2. So that's what I'm using now. And I will say, uh, I mean, that is the latest version of the full-size iPad. At home, I use an iPad uh, mini, uh, the first Retina version, not even the second one. I don't really think there's much of an improvement 
in last year's iPad Mini. So if you can get the old one, get that. Uh, I don't recommend you get much older than that, though. And the Apple does still, I think, sell the original iPad Mini, uh, the non-Retina version. Bad idea. So get, you know, it's not like you have a whole lot of choice. You can get one older one to save money. If you can afford to get a more recent one, the Air, the current version, which is the iPad Air 2, that's what you have as well, mm -hmm. uh, is is faster. Again, I don't really notice the speed difference, but, you know, in tests, it's much, much faster. And it is really nice to have a Touch ID because then every time I go in the store, I used to have to enter in the password. I took home the old iPad Air that I was using in studio. That's my iPad at home now. Uh, upgraded that from the Retina uh, Mini. And I like, I guess the bigger screen's a little bit easier. So I, I would say I, I am a fan of the larger screen iPads now. I used to be a big a mini guy. Now I'm v with watching with interest to see if they do this long rumored iPad Pro, the 12 inch iPad with force touch. If they do that, I will run, not walk to the store and get one. But for now, uh, and, you know, frankly, any iPad you could buy is probably fine. Except for that mini, uh, the non-retina mini, I think that's a little too old and slow. They sell that because they want to uh, have a very low-cost iPad. I mm -hmm. think they still sell them. All right. Well, next we have our uh, AppCap Awards. So stay tuned for that. Is it that, that time? That. Well, get it's your not hat quite on. that time. You, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a little time to go get yeah. your hat. i got to fix my to get hair. Get your hair fixed. Hair. While I talk about, do you notice, by the way, how clean shaved I am yeah. this morning? Su super smooth mm -mm -mm. and soft. That's because of Harry's. I owe Harry big time. They just sent me the new Harry's razor stand. I'm very excited about this. What is Harry's? Well, look, guys, we got to shave. Cows, too. And uh, sometimes shaving is not the funnest thing in the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It pulls. It scratches. Some guys get razor bumps, and it's just no fun. So Harry's decided, and by the way, it can be very costly. I don't know if you've been to the drugstore, uh, but... Four dollars a blade for a Gillette Fusion, and you buy ten blades. That's forty bucks. Forget about it. So uh, Harry said, "We're going to make this better. We're going to make better blades. We're going to sell them direct to the customer from the factory. So we'll save you money, like fifty percent. It's it's two bucks a blade, uh, and we're going to make it fun. And they have. If you go to Harry's.com, you'll find out all about it. For one thing, they bought the factory in Germany that makes the blades, so they can engineer them for the best performance, sharpness." at a low, low cost. You'll never have a better shave than Harry's. The Harry's Shave, foaming shave gel is great. They've now got the Harry's Aftershave Lotion that is fantastic. Oh, I'm so, they sent me, oh, I love that, it smells so good. And then you get the Harry's Kit, that's the way to start. And we're gonna show you how you can get a very good deal on a Harry's Kit. So here's a, here's a Harry's Kit, let me see what this one is. Uh, all the Harry's Kits include three blades. They include the travel a blade protector, which is great for putting the razor in your dop kit. And then you get the handle. There's two different kinds of handles. There's the Truman, which are plastic handles, and the Winston, which are uh, the engraved metal handles. This is a Truman, so it's a, uh, I love that. It's fun. It's orange. So you get the handle, three blades, the blade uh, traveling blade cover, and your choice of shave gel, the foaming shave gel, or the shave cream. And for the Truman, it's $15. That's a great deal. And the Winston, which is the metal one, you can get that engraved. That's $25. But we're going to give you 5 bucks off your first order if you use the offer code iPad today. So $10 to get started. $10, three blades, the handle, the travel cover, and a full-size bottle of the foaming shave gel. 10 bucks at harrys.com. Just got to use the offer code iPad today. Harry's just started selling this, and I just got this. I'm so excited. I ordered it immediately. And it even has my name on it. Look at that. This is the 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 uh, razor holder. Let me get let me get my razor out. So I you know I just put it in a glass on the sink, but that's not good. No. So now I have a nice razor stand, and because we have his and hers Harry's at home, it's got my name. I don't know if you can see that engraved on it. It's beautiful. It's a, an aluminum block. It's really nice. That's fifteen dollars, I think. So go to Harry's.com. Browse around. Is there a holiday coming up? Father's Day. This will be a good time to get Dad involved. Yeah. You know what? Dad will love you for this. He's got to shave. Why should he suffer? Why should he pay for the privilege of suffering? Harrys.com. Use the offer code iPad today and get $5 off your first order. I see you're wearing a hat. I'm a laggard here. Oh, Wait a minute. Let me, quickly get, <laughs> let me quickly get a hat on here. I think I've worn this one before. But These hats come like... from the same person. Oh, they do? Yeah. There we go. And they there are, uh, I believe they are commonly worn in the Ukraine. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
or something. <laughs> anyway. They're attractive this wherever is, they're worn. I, no, I'll tell you the real truth. I caught Father Robert Ballasier posing in front of the mirror with this thing on. And uh, said, I said, you, you have one. not earned this yet. You, my oh. friend. No. This I is... really like how it turns up like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to do that yeah. or what. But it's got that nice embroidery in it. It is nice. And it doesn't make you look any sillier. So. No. I like it. App so cap time. That's why, yeah, we're wearing it for the app cap, our favorite apps. Have you ever used Retro for Instagram? No, what's that? Uh, it, You know, I like Instagram. I and, use it all the time. Uh, but sometimes it's really hard to scroll through everything and I get behind. Oh, yeah. And I want to just see everything. I want, especially when, now that I have some, you know, children on Instagram, I want to see what they're posting, too. So Retro, I've got it on my screen right now. Um, here's a picture. Oh. There's Miss Amber MacArthur. We follow each see, other. See, th so the Instagram still does not have an iPad version, which is weird. No. And this so this might is just, a better this, gallery. Yes, it, it's, it's it certainly is. Like, yeah, there's no, I mean, usually you have this gallery for your own, but this is, these are not my pictures. These are who I follow. Right. So I just can scroll through and just kind of look at, oh, okay, okay, there's some butter and eggs day parade, somebody's baby, someone's hairstyle, someone's food. Who look at, because sometimes people post like a lot of pictures of their food uh, all <laughs> at once. Look at and that. I'm this like, was a, enough food, Leo. Look at, no, no, look at that one on the left, though. though. This one? Yeah. Yeah. So What's that? Can you, can, can you make yeah. it, can you embiggen it? Mm -hmm, there. I can embiggen it. Do you know that that looks like peas, right? It, it that does. That is dessert. Yeah. Yes. Someone's calling your watch, your phone, your <laughs> okay, laptop. Okay. Just now, this is good timing. Okay, okay. Abby always calls when I'm on a show. Okay. There you go. Okay. You see. We're not gonna now. Do gonna I can say. I can watch. I'll do this here. We'll do this quickly. Hi, hi, sweetie. Hi, Abby. Abby. <laughs> oh, she hung up as soon as she heard your voice. It's uh, <laughs> not so, true. No. Abby used to babysit my children. She wouldn't. Up, up, up. She's <laughs> calling again. Oh, she called. She hung up again. Must be butt dialing me. She might. Right. That could but be there's dangerous. The, and there's Maybe the notification. <laughs> so I can miss call. I can call her back. I can messenger. I'll just send her a message. And, uh, you know, I have some standard messages. So I could just send her one of those standard messages that I uh, send. I'm on my way. Sorry, I can't talk right now. How about that one? We'll send that one. So that was easy, right? Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, I just commented on your um, food. So that is a dessert. Strawberry. That's not peas? I'm no. not going to get any fiber from that? It's an amazing dessert. We, uh, Lisa and I had an incredible meal. It is, I don't want to tell you where, even though it says Madrona Manor right there. <laughs> I don't want to tell you where because it's the best kept secret in Northern California. The chef Jesse there is literally the best chef. Uh, he's just, on, uh, and no one knows about this. And you can go there and have literally a, f a, a, a amazing four-star meal. Look at, um, someone else took a picture of that. Yeah, I think probably Lisa. Oh, was it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. She named me, she named the orange Mr. Laporte? Now I'm hurt. No, that's her name, Miss no, no, Laporte. No, 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 but look, there's tags. She's oh. tagged me on that. Oh, yeah. No, it's the flower. Oh, she tagged you on right. the flower. So I really like uh, Retro. It's pretty simple. I mean, you just can, you know, look at and you nice. can comment. I'm, and you I'm can downloading like photos it. And you can, um, one last feature uh, since of, is because I started looking at this because of we were working on widgets. They also have this great widget. So if I'm just looking at my today screen, kind of saying, okay, here's my to-do list. Here's I want to talk to Siri, my fanatical. Um, and then, like, what's just what's just on Instagram? Let's see. What, you know, what are the last pictures? Oh. There you go. What are some pictures on Instagram? So I can just quickly look there, too. It's just a very catch. easy way to look at uh, your Instagram yeah, gallery. Very easy and it's simple. iPad native, which unfortunately right. Instagram, Instagram is not. Is mm -hmm. not yeah. mm -mm. So I love it. Retro. It is. Still don't get why Instagram hasn't done an iPad version. I don't know either. Why? Why? If you know, you can email us. Have, if you look at Instagram, I don't know if you've noticed, but many it's happening to me and my, many of my friends are posting very odd videos of themselves oh yes I on instagram that. yeah mm -hmm. uh everybody from felicia day to that guy leo laporte using this weird program mm. and i'm going to use it right now now it is an iphone only program it's kind of hard to find even harder to use because it's only in chinese they say they're making an american version an english version not american english version it's called my idol all right and uh, but in order to do this <laughs> you, you you have to read chinese fortunately I studied Chinese in college, and so I have no... Hey! <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Oh, really? Right. Can you really read that? No. Okay. So I just, so it does have a little bit of a video that it tells you It does the thing that you never do. should do. Never just press buttons. Never do that, Leo. <laughs> never do yeah, that. No. Okay. Now, 
Okay, I'm going to take a picture of you, and I'm going to make you an idol. Are you ready? I'm already right. wearing a weird okay. hat. Okay, you will be you will be a great idol. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now that probably is not the perfectest picture ever, but I'll, we'll we'll take it. <laughs> so the idea. Oh my God. <laughs> the the uh, first of all, we got to center it. <laughs> and the idea is, is we're going to say, okay, it's going to scan it. Okay. Now, uh, now you have to, this is kind of complicated, but you have to say where the eyes are, where the side of the head is, where the chin is and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to say, where okay. Where the weird hat is. Now, you can, fortunately, you can <laughs> zoom in. And it does a pretty good job, as you can see. Those are the edges of your eyes, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to tune it up just a little yeah. bit. It got the side of your head pretty good. Looks like the upper lip, lower lip's a little bit off. We're going to get that right. Even though I don't speak Chinese or I don't remember much Chinese, I kind of... It's kind of, it's pretty it's fairly intuitive. There is on the website of the company that makes this an English language uh, translation of this. All right, now it's gonna say it's gonna incorporate you into uh, so it's getting your face. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to be wearing a belly shirt or be. It doesn't on matter a pole. because it's only gonna get your face. Okay. And now we're gonna make a fun video. I don't know what this means, but right. I'm, I'm but, just gonna tap but somehow randomly. Somehow you end up with like, yeah. The yeah, first this is, one I did, I was wearing very short shorts, and that was the hair that I okay. had, too. I, I'm now going to get... Okay, that's your face. Yeah, did you notice that? Face. I like that hair Okay. On me. Well, we can change it. Okay. And, and we can also make a movie. Yeah, no poles, please. No okay. stripper poles. So please. one of the <laughs> one of the things about this, oops, is I didn't pay for any of this stuff. Oh. So you can have it do something. Oh. Look, you're waving a flag. That's normal for me. Uh-huh. Let me get back out of here, because there are some things we can do. We can, uh, <laughs> we can give you some better hair better outfits. These are some of the pictures that are associated with the face. It's having trouble with your forehead. Oh, that's that weird <laughs> hat, hat you're wearing. Hat, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's a weird hat. So don't be wearing a weird hat. Don't let Megan mess with you there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that funny? I can save it back out to photos just by tapping that. It's now in my photos book. I can also send it to various Chinese social networks like uh, Weibo and stuff. Um, I can dress you a little bit better, and I think Thank I you. probably should. Uh, first of all, let's put a hat on, right. or different hair maybe. You want to? Yeah. Now this, now this, you should know this great stuff. Uh, you can't use. You have to pay. You have to pay. Ooh, so that's good. I, except for the weird forehead. <laughs> no, this sorry. is this is I working okay. Should have taken okay. the hat off. Yeah, different eyes, and again, I think different you eyes. get. I, I'm not sure, but I think you get a couple for free. Okay. So pick care, pick wisely, like pick one <laughs> facial <laughs> hair. Okay. Now, now that one. Okay. <laughs> There That's we go, and uh, nice. and outfit. I get one outfit for, okay, yeah. for free. A nice it's, coat. Um, some pants. I don't know. I think there I should like stripes. be. Should be some better outfits here. Uh, what do you like? You like stripes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I'm a fan of the stripes. There we go. We got the stripes for free. Oh. Oh, you know. <laughs> I probably. I pants, hope I get some please. pants. I hope I can get some pants. Oh, um, Leo. There you go. Stripes oh, and class. checks go Thanks. together. Perfect. Oh, that I love is it. you. That is me. That and is you. Uh, and now we can put you into a production. Uh, maybe I'll get you some shoes. Thanks. You should have boots. Mm -hmm. You seem like a boot type. I like boots. Yeah, look at that. Great. That is a good look, except for yeah. the facial hair again. <laughs> I can say you're a man or a woman. Right. Uh, I've good. made you a woman for some reason. Uh, let's give you better hair, though. I really, I want to get some better hair for you. Pick up. So hairs. you don't press, you, okay, the grayed out ones. I like the long hair. Ooh, that should... that's you. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's turn off the mustache. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to do that. Uh, here's a cute outfit. Look at that. You can get the whole outfit if you want. Oh, oh. I guess I've used up my freebies. Oh, anyway, uh, and now, here we go. That's that is you. No, thank you. All right, something a little more momish. Right, momish. There you go. Yeah, it's between uh, momish, you're momish and schoolgirl. There's no in between. Those, there. There's no. There's <laughs> no. No. There's no choices. Okay. Now there, there you are. And now I could put you in a, a show. Okay, great. Um, I'm not sure which show you want to. I how about on the the, the pole? What if, What do you think you would <laughs> be good on a on a stripper asked pole? Not the pole. Okay. <laughs> and there we go. And I think you'll sing a Chinese song as well. We're going to come back to the camera and I'm just going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Done. That's it. All right. All right. All right. No, you, you get two. Okay. Let's then try I, this I would one. like to be singing, please. You want to be singing? Yeah. With hearts. With hearts. Oh, hearts I got to pay for it oh, now. Well. So that's it. I used <laughs> up my freebie and it's a stripper pole. I'm sorry. That's oh, no, okay. There's the hearts. Here we go.
All right, now there, Megan. That's more me. Megan is gonna sing for you. Mm -hmm. Change the background too. Let's put it in the <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the lyrical stylings <laughs> of Megan Maroney. I think I would just like to appear as my idol from now on. This is my just, idol. And just now, see what kind of Twitter feedback I get about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Harry's kit for you. Help, thank you. Help a thank lot. you. Um, isn't that funny? <laughs> It the, is funny. the weird thing is, it is using your face, and so you you actually it can be it, now. This it turns out is it a can whole be what? Ca it can be you. This right. is a whole category of programs. There's another one that does use the iPad called Morpho with an F. There's Morpho in the paid version. Morpho M O R F O booth. And do you want to do a little bit of a Morpho booth here? I'll sure. do me this yeah, time. Yeah, do you this All time right. with so, a stripper pole, please. So I'm going to take a picture. Uh, there are no stripper poles, but it's it's actually a little bit worse than that. So here's, uh, first let's get a picture. And you want to kind of have a frontal, full frontal. Do you think you want to take your hat off so you don't have the weird forehead like I did? I, nope. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> that is, um, uh, okay. So we're going to use this picture. Okay. Now, similarly, we have to, and all of these programs kind of are like this. You have to get the, this one's a little easier, don't you think? And mm -hmm. to, uh, you just kind of basically, you're, you're stretching till it gets it right where you want it. There we go. All right. And then same thing with the eyes. Uh, I wish I could. What's it doing to your eyes? Nothing yet. Oh, it's showing you where your eyes are. This is are. where we're, 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 we're so doing the same thing we had to do with right. my That's where your idol eyes are. to it's say here's kind anything. of the shape and, and size of the various body parts. I think my lip is not that big. There we go. Maybe a little even. Yeah. You want to do this fairly accurately. Now there is the result. Oh. Um, now, I can change things, like I can make the eyes bigger. That's weird. Really, which is kind of creepy. Or darker or brighter. That's a uh, I can painting. add, I can make them red, okay. Um, I can change my nose in various ways, you know, tilt corners down, oh. and things like <laughs> that. You yourself a nose job. Yeah, yeah, you can actually. Um, <laughs> there you go, that's pretty close to, it's looking like me though, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Um, all right, finish that. Now, that's me. Now I can do other things. I can record audio. Finish recording. That was quick. <laughs> I am uh, recording some audio now. Play. And you see it moves the uh, lips mm -hmm. in time. Okay, cancel that. We don't want to do that. Um, I can change my makeup. Ooh. Oh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I can choose which do I right there you just which, looked like help which me. action pack do I want uh, goth sure uh, I can be fatter hard to believe but yes <laughs> much fatter I can be elven oh, more elven oh. right I can have a stronger chin okay Ooh, stronger chin yeah kids love Milo oh. and Huck will love this yeah now rock disco or tune disco disco obvi. obviously <laughs> and uh, now I'm singing and dancing. So this is kind of like my idol. Yeah. Um, again, using you as the baseline, mm -hmm. but modifying it as as necessary. Whoa. Yeah, and then that of course is... I can share that to Facebook <laughs> because what what would Facebook be <laughs> right. without distorted, hard, weird dreams? <laughs> I uh, like that you did both of us. I feel I feel better that you know equal equal opportunity, equal opportunity shaming, shaming and embarrassing. So so the the nice thing about Morpho it's in English. They have a free version and a paid version. I was just using the paid version. That's two bucks. Uh, my Idol hard to find. You have to search for My Idol one word in the iPhone store. And for a long time, you could that didn't even work because it's in Chinese. But they, the Chinese developers realized that there was an interest in the English language countries, so they added that I guess somehow as a tag, and you can't find it now. Uh, that is free as well, although they want you to purchase additional outfits mm -hmm. like this fine Which hat. you need, yes, or d scenes perhaps. Mm -hmm. I think that's it for this edition of the iPad. I think it looks a lot like me, don't you? Exactly it's like exactly, you. Yes, exactly. Exactly like, you. like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so send us a voicemail, like I said, 757-504-IPAD. Um, you can write to We'd us. We'd love that. We'd love the voicemails. IPAD today at twit.tv. Let us know what you're interested in hearing about. Um, do you want more Apple Watch stuff? Do you want less Apple Watch stuff? 
I want to. I want to hear. What, it's your choice. Your chance. Right. This is your show. It's We're your just show. We're just sitting in these chairs. We're just filling in. Embarrassing ourselves until you with get apps here. <laughs> and weird hats. And uh, wow! And now the hat. Out. Now the hat works. Oh yeah. I'm a Puccinello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so well, at the same time, we always do it 12:30 ish Mondays, and then of course subscribe to the show with your favorite podcast app. And we'll see you next week, right? 12.30 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern, yes. 21.30 UTC. Live.twit.tv. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Megan. Thank you. Thanks for the hats. We'll see you next time on iPad Today. We will. No howling. Hopefully.